today we're in the Pitt Addington Marsh Wildlife Management Area. So this is a provincial conservation land that was designated in 1987 uh, and it was the province that designated it but ever since then Ducks Unlimited Canada has played a key role in making sure that this place works. So we're at the south end of Pitt Lake and this flat area is actually a reverse river delta. Pitt Lake itself is a tidal lake, as is the lower Pitt River. So because it's connected to the ocean via the Fraser River. And so when you have the flood tide from coming from the Fraser, it can actually push in the upstream direction oh, and wow. deposit sediment. So this area that we are right here is that area of backwards sediment deposition. Because of that, uh, when we had settlers coming here, they attempted to dike up the edges and convert it into farmland, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the most successful of farmland. With the dikes in place, if we want to maintain these areas as wetlands, mm -hmm. we need to actively manage the area. So we have a number of water control structures that actually regulates the, the flow of water between the compartments, and Ducks Unlimited, they uh, are responsible for managing and maintaining those water control structures. Okay. As well, we've uh, been investing thousands of dollars in different habitat restoration works. This wildlife management area, it's about just under 3,000 hectares in size oh, wow. and it supports over 200 species of bird and about 29 species of mammal. So this includes overwintering migratory and breeding habitat for waterfowl, songbirds, raptors, mm -hmm. upland birds, all sorts of things. There's an innumerable uh, number of ecological benefits, but wetlands like these play other important roles. What plants do uh, in order to survive, they photosynthesize. So one of the components that they take out of the atmosphere is carbon dioxide, so, and it has that, that carbon uh, in it. And so they'll use that as part of photosynthesis to produce um, their different tissues and to uh, undergo the metabolism and all the life functions. And then these plants, uh, as part of this process, will use that carbon and be able to store it in the ground. At this time of year, it starts to kind of die off and that dead vegetation also builds up and helps to form this carbon storage in, in the earth, that carbon sequestration. So essentially, these plants are taking carbon from the atmosphere and putting it in the ground. I mean, that's, that's, that's the kind of thing that, it's the miracle cure to, to climate change and all of that. Yeah. As humans, we're trying to invent technology to do what plants have been doing for billions of years. All right, well, I just want to say a huge thank you for everything today. I feel like this has just kind of added another layer onto everything that I'm learning. I think it's fantastic that you're, you're trying to learn about this stuff. It's really easy for us to uh, just stick in our own lane, you know, and, and to um, just learn about those things that we're familiar with. But to really step outside our comfort zone and to learn something new, hey, kudos to you. <laughs> thank you.